Okay, guys, welcome back. I've got a little tic-tac-toe board or knots and crosses, depending on where you're from. Or, I guess, <laughs> I call it uh, knots and crosses, personally, but tic-tac-toe just kind of rolls off the tongue. Now, it's only a little board, and it's only got one of each piece with it, so it's a bit of a pain. Uh, but I'm going to do it just to have a have a little go. So I love gold and silver and black, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour first. I'm going to do it in two stages. I'm going to pour down here first these lines in gold, and I'm going to use this um, Color Berry Carrot Gold. I haven't used it before, so I'm going to use that for my lines. Um, and then after a few hours, once that's set, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put black over the whole top so that when you turn it out your squares are black and then your lines are gold with these little guys uh, I thought coming staying along with the uh, gold sort of silver train of thought I'm going to do the crosses in gold and the circles or noughts in silver but I'm going to use um, gold flake or gold leaf and silver leaf and just suspend them in a clear because this is going to be the base is going to be quite a solid color so I thought it might be nice to have that little bit of transparency in the actual playing pieces so that's what I'm going to do um, I've made up a little bit of resin I have no idea how much I need because I can only make two at a time once these are set I'll pop them out and I'll, I'll do more because I need nine pieces five X's and Four O's. So I got a little bit of resin. I did um, what did I do? 40 grams of A, 20 grams of B. So this is going to be my gold, my gold cup. So we'll pour some in there. Doesn't matter if I've got a little bit left over. It won't matter. And then I've got my sort my gold and silver leaf already in there. So I'm just going to pour a bit in there. Again, don't need a lot. Might as well put a bit more in there. Can always do something with gold, can't I? So, just a matter of breaking this up, really. You're going to break your leaves up, depending on how big or small you want your pieces of gold leaf and silver leaf. And also, like how thick you want them, like as in how much you want suspended in your clear. Maybe you want a lot, maybe you want just a little bit. That'll also depend on how much you put in there, I guess. And yeah, I don't need a lot, so I need to do one little piece. But um, I've had this mold for ages. I've actually got so many molds that I haven't even used yet in the in my drawers over there and um, I'd like to get them out. I've got feathers, I've got bowls, I've got shells, oh, I've got so many moulds. Actually I might just put a little bit more resin in there just to suspend those. I don't want them to look as if they're too too thick. I'd like a more transparent sort of a look as if they're really floating. So I think that would be nice. The silver doesn't seem to break up as easily as the gold does. I think I put more silver in there than I did gold. And we'll just finish off the rest in here. Give that a stir. I think I had a little bit too much silver. It was a little bit sort of congested looking. I want it to be more, more sort of floating with a clear background. Alright, so that's that done. Now this one, hopefully it's a pretty colour. I wasn't sure what to use for this, whether it was um, like the gold pigment or like a powder or a paste. I wasn't sure, but let's just, we'll try it out, hey? See what it does. It looks very metallic. But then once you've stirred it in a bit, it kind of loses that look because the gold was kind of sitting on top. Hopefully it'll still be pretty. 
It's not as yellow as that. I'm not quite sure how you get it quite that yellow. Won't matter. Give it a really good stir up. Clean the stick, make sure there's no mica powders on the sticks. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute, just in case there's any bits of powder that haven't get, got mixed in. They can just sit there and I'll give it another stir in a minute. Looks like little dots appearing on the top. I don't know what that is. Look. Oh, it must be all the colour coming to the surface. That's bizarre. All right, let's fill these in. Now, I have researched it and it, the people that know say that there's five X's and four O's. So I'm just thinking maybe because the lines are gold I'm going to have quite a lot of gold so maybe I need to do more silver so maybe the X is in silver because there'll be five of those and then four of the O's. I might do it that way just because there's already a lot of gold in there hey that'll kind of even it up a bit so let's pinch this and we'll just pour into these little tiny Little tiny moulds. Look at that. Gonna have so much left over. Such a waste. That's all I can do. I'll spread that out a little bit. See, I didn't want it too, too thick of silver. I think that's just enough. Glad I added the extra resin. Didn't want it too, too congested. Do you want to, I want to see the clear, you know. <laughs> Look at all that what I've got left over. I'm going to have to get my key ring mould out and make something with the left over. All right, here we go with the gold. So I'll have five pieces in silver, four pieces in gold. And that'll just balance out the fact that I've got the gold lines. Now that's quite a big chunk. I'm going to take that out. If you haven't mixed it in properly, you get big chunks, and I don't like that. Oops, there's a bit of silver snuck in. Get out! Let's break it up a bit. Spread them out. See, you can see that little bit of clear all the way around there. I think I can put a tiny bit more in. I want to fill them up because as resin dries, it shrinks. So I want them to be nice and domed. All right, so that's what I've got left there. Let's go clean my stick off. Right, that was hard work, wasn't it? Look at that, the gold's come back, back up to the surface. How weird is that? All right, so now I'm just going to pour into the lower area and hopefully bring it up to the height of these squares. Ooh, it's a bit tricky to do. I might have to make my own mould. I don't know. If you can't find something that you're happy with, you just have to make your own, don't you? That's what I reckon. Did I just put the bottom of my cup into that O? Oh no. Did I? No, it's alright. Now, level, uh, resin self leveling, so it will find its own levels and fill in everything. I just make sure that I've put enough in there. I don't know what this is going to look like because to me it looks a kind of mottled but we'll see what happens when it dries it's my first one if I don't like it I can change to some other type of gold we'll see what happens fill that up and it looks pretty it looks pretty on my glove mm, can I put any more in I've leveled my bench or my my board under here I'd rather level my board than my table so I've leveled my board which is sitting on my table um, tiny 
bit more. I just don't want to overflow anything. I think that looks good. I don't think I can put any more in there. Look at that. I've got that left over. I wish that gold and that gold was the same. Because I don't think they're going to match properly. I wonder what I could use that, that is that colour. Apart from actually putting that gold leaf in there. But I, that's not what I wanted. But I guess it'll be alright. It will it should still look pretty. Even though it doesn't match. But um, I might see what I've got um, in the way of other golds that's going to match this one more. Because this is much more yellow gold. This is more of a green gold. So should have left a bit of resin behind then I could have tested it okay um, I'm just gonna torch very lightly with with my little tiny guy here I can just see some bubbles in the middle Oop, is empty I'll get my other one doesn't take much to empty them it's really lightly quickly there we go that's all okay so that's it um, yeah, I, I guess I would prefer that to be more that colour, but I'll go and see what I've got. All right, now I'm going to wait a few hours. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a top coat of black in that one. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you then. Just have to be patient with the X's and O's. I can only do one of each at a time. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it? It's a real pain. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll see you in a... I don't know, four hours or so, do the top coat. Hey guys, I'm back. I did not like that gold. Um, it kind of, half of it's kind of floated to the top. Some of it sunk. I can't get my gloves back on. It kind of looked a bit green. Um, so yeah, I... I got my baby wipes and I wiped it all out. I washed it with warm soapy water and I'm going to go again. These pigment powders, the metal ones, um, I've got a few of the metal ones. They seem to be different to the actual mica powders. They, the metal does float to the top and it gives you a different look. They're great if you want to do cells. Um, like, let me grab one and show you. Oh, it's here. These little, these little guys. I did this. So, you know, they're great if you want to do this sort of thing with the, the metal because it floats on top and that's what you want it to do. But when you want it just to be a block colour, I don't think it's the right thing. So, um, I've put down a little bit. That one there is the Arteza Aztec Gold. And then that one there, the lighter one, is the Pearl X Brilliant Gold by Jacquard. And I like that one best, so I'm going to go with that. I just put a little bit on the stick and just sort of rubbed it in, just so I could see what they look like. And I think that one goes with my Gold Flakes the best. So, let's go again, shall we? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, oh, I need a little paper cup so I can pinch it. Um... Yeah, I just didn't want to do it if I wasn't going to be happy with it, you know. I'd rather just start again. So let's pour that in there. Again, I wasn't sure how much to make. I did 20 grams of A and 10 grams of B. That's probably too much, but look, it's hard making up such a tiny bit. Let's do that. I want it nice and solid. I don't want it to be transparent. Just give that a mix. I've got to do it gently so it doesn't fly everywhere and get all over my mould. But I think I'll be happier with it. I just think if you're going to do something, do it to the best of your ability and be happy with it, you know. If you're not happy, start again. Don't just go, oh, it'll do. Well, I don't anyway. Start again. Do it to the best of your ability. That's all you can ask for, hey? And I just wasn't going to be happy with that finish. It was kind of a green and it was mottled. 
and I did not like it at all and didn't match with my gold leaf so that matches much better so if you're not sure just get a piece of paper towel or a bit of paper or something and just put your colors down give them a rub with your finger or a stick see what they're going to look like but yeah the metal paints they do float on top and they really I don't think they're the right type of product for this but they work beautifully for cells on a painting. I must do some more of those. Hey, I've got so many things I want to do and just not enough time to do them. I'm just going to torch in there. Oh, that's my empty one. Let me get my other one. There we go. All right. Let's go again. Second time's a charm. Mm we go that takes a bit of concentration this Whee! <gasps> to keep it nice and straight and I did dry the mold off with a hairdryer just on cool just to get all the little droplets of water out because you don't want to be pouring resin into a mold that's still got water in it because they water doesn't like resin and it won't set up that's better look at that I could possibly mix a tiny bit of the other one in with this one just to make it a little bit darker but I think against the black it's going to look really really pretty nice shiny gold but you can mix different micas together to get the exact color that you want probably could have done that but too late now i think i'll be happy with this one the way it is fill in these little gaps here a couple more drops oops i went over spilt a little tiny bit there spilt all right i think that's it mm, yeah better not put any oh how much more can I put in there without it overflowing <laughs> I don't want it to overflow but then I don't want it to shrink and then um, it doesn't look as if it's filled enough just a couple more drops is all it needs really okay there we go right I'm gonna be happier with that Clean up my little drop. I don't think there's any bubbles there. <laughs> okay, so huh, that was worth it. I'll be happier with that. Okay, same as before. I'll see you in four hours for the black top coat. There, how's that look? Much better, hey? See you soon. Right, let's do this black top coat. I'm going to use some pigment paste. And I've got one here from Art Tree Creations. It is called Batman Black. So let's pop some of that in. It's kind of looking a bit congealed. I better clean my stick, hadn't I? I'm just going to use the same cup that I've mixed in. I'll just use my clean my stick and then I can pop it back into that jar they do tend to solidify a little bit I found the the pastes you can just put the lid back on and then sit it in a, a warm water bath or a hot water bath I just make sure that the water doesn't come up to above the lid the bottom of the lid just in case it leaks in there Okay, that's not opaque yet, so I'll add some more because I want it nice and opaque. So you can still see the stick through there, so that's not ready yet. Clean that off and then pop some more in. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. That's a good amount that time. Give it a really good stirring. I shouldn't be doing this over my... Norton Cross, should I, in case I drip on it? I can do it over here. Well, 
it's looking better. I've had such a busy day today. My gosh, I've done three projects and helped a friend with the project. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's seven o'clock in the evening. Hardly sat down all day. It's one of those days where I wanted to try this and then I thought, oh, and I want to try that and I want to try that. So I've been busy, busy, busy. I just want to make sure there's no lumps in there because that paste was a bit, like I said, a bit congealed. It wasn't of a smooth, liquidy paste. It's starting to thicken, so I just want to make sure I've got no lumps. That's looking good. Hey, you can't see the stick through that anymore. Although I do feel as if there's some lumps. Right, maybe I need to put it in a hot water bath and bring it back to liquid. Okay, put that aside. Put it there in case you want to see. There's my little torch. So basically, it's, this is not very exciting. Basically, I'm just going to pour black over until it comes up to the top. Um, and then that's it. And then I'll unmold tomorrow. And then I'm going to make another knot, another cross. But I'm not going to go through it each time. I'll just, I'll just show you at the end with them all done. <laughs> and nine pieces completed. All right, hopefully this is enough to do the top here. I did 55 grams of part A and 25 grams of part B. So hopefully that's enough. <sighs> do I need to polish these? I need to give them a bit of a, a polish just because I washed them with soap and water because I had that previous resin in there. I better just give them a bit of a, a shine. Just so I can see like smear marks on it. And if you've got any marks on, they're going to show up in your resin. So just be careful. Make sure you've got a nice, clean, shiny surface. Otherwise, it will be transferred into your resin. <laughs> Doesn't look much different. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Pouring in. Let's do it in a thin stream. Hopefully, I won't get too many bubbles by doing it in a, a thin stream. Was that a blob that just went in? Go out to the corners. Hopefully it's enough. Oops, I better stop there in case I run over. Whoa! I think this side's too high. Let me have a look over here. Yeah, I did put an extra stick under this side, but now I'm thinking I don't need it. Oh, how do I get rid of it? There we go. I had an extra stick under there. I don't usually. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we go. Well, I didn't use all of that. It's nice to know, isn't it, that um, how much you need. So I've got a little bit left. So what did I say? 55 and 25, so I probably just need... Maybe 40 and 18, I guess. I always need more of part A because, you know, A is heavier than B. So maybe 40 and 18, something like that would be ideal. All right. Um, let me just torch. Actually, let's do the spritz. Let's do the alcohol spritz. It's like a, a song. Let's do the spritz. Move those out of the way. alcohol will evaporate and it's just popping those bubbles and then any other bubbles that come to the surface while the alcohol is still sitting on top it will pop them as it comes up as well I still do have some bubbles on the surface but I'm not quite sure how much alcohol you can put on like I've only just started doing this so I'm not quite sure how much the resin can actually handle I'm just watching the surface. Oh, they are actually popping as they come up. Yeah, 
there they go pop 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 you probably can't see it okay last little spray um now don't torch that okay because it's got alcohol on it and it's likely to flame up in your face <laughs> so one or the other don't do both if I've still got some bubbles there in like five or ten minutes, I'll give it a quick little torch with my little rinky dink here, um, my little blow torch. But I'll just see how it goes like that. Okay, um, and then um, we'll unmold in the morning and, and see what it looks like. Hey, eh? I'm excited! My first tic tac toe game. All right, see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. Well, morning for me anyway. And here we go. <laughs> Not terribly exciting, is it? <clears throat> Let's have a little look. It's got that little little piece in the middle there. Can you see that? Don't know whether that's just because all the resin's kind of gone into the middle as it does, pulls from the outside in, or whether it's my resin that did it. Don't know. <clears throat> anyway, it's the back, so no one's going to see it. Here we go. Hopefully, it comes out nicely. I wonder if I need to put you on autofocus. Let's have a little look. Just because I'm going to be lifting it up. Just loosen it all the way around first. <clears throat> Shouldn't stick. Oh, it hasn't stuck so far. Cross your fingers for me. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out. <clears throat> I have ordered another one of these molds, but a bigger one. So let's have a look. <gasps> exciting oh that's really pretty that's exactly what I wanted wow look at that it's very shimmery there because it's picking up all the, the light around it it's got these little little indents there where you can put your piece lovely all right now I've only got these two to unmold, but um, at least I can make some more. I can make another two today, and then another two tomorrow. Maybe I can get, I don't know, if I do it early, maybe I can get two lots done today. What do you think? And it just fits, doesn't it? Look at that. It just fits. How are you supposed to get your fingers in there to move it? All right, let's do the next one. Comes out nice and easily. There we go. There's a tight little fit for these, but it's, I mean, it fits. It's just, who wants to play? I've only got two pieces. <laughs> Never mind. All right, um, I'll make some more up. And then when I'm done with the whole lot, um, I'll take a photo of it and show you the finished product. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.